What's going on guys? It's your homeboy Jojo Kaiser here. I'm back with another story time video for you guys today. So today's story time is with an interaction I had with a Karen. Yep, that's right guys. I have my own story about a Karen that I witnessed about a week ago. So yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And with all that said, let's get on with today's story time. So today's story time, like I just said, took place about a week ago. I'm just chilling at home, literally minding my own business, relaxing. Then my mom asked me if I wanted to go to the store to pick up some stuff for her. To which I said yes, because you know your boy wants to support his parents in some way, shape, or form. So I was like, sure, no problem. So I get dressed, you know, all that stuff. I walk over to the store, I get to the store, I start picking up some stuff that my mom wanted me to get. And then from the corner of my eye, I notice this <clears throat> very large figure woman looking very sassy and pissed off about something walking through the store. Now look, like I just said in the last couple videos, you know, I don't like making fun of people based on how they look. I think that's one of the most shallow things a person can possibly do. But I feel like in this particular context, I think I have the right to do so because what she did later on in the story that I'm telling right now makes me justify to make fun of her at least a little bit. So anyways, this woman is walking through the entire store searching for stuff. I don't really care what she was trying to look for at the end of the day. But one particular item that I know that she was very desperate to get was for some reason a can of orange juice. I don't know why this can of orange juice is so important to her. But trust me, it's an important detail later on in the story. So anyways, I'm walking around grabbing whatever stuff that I need to get from my mom. I finally get the stuff that I need and I get online. And guess who's in front of me in the line? Yep, that's right. This large figure woman who for the sake of this story time, I'm going to call Karen because she's acting like one and you're about to hear why. So anyways, she's putting all of her things on the conveyor belt, you know, just minding her own business. And so far, she doesn't seem that upset. And you're probably wondering, oh, wow, she's just, you know, putting her stuff on the conveyor belt. She's not really doing anything bad. I don't know why you're calling her a Karen. And yes, during that particular time, I wouldn't necessarily call her a Karen myself at that moment. What she happens to do next makes her seem like a Karen and you're about to hear why. So she's almost done putting all of her stuff on the conveyor belt, you know, including, you know, a particular item that she's clearly upset about in some way, shape or form that she put on the conveyor belt. And, you know, she's about to pay for everything. So the cashier is, you know, scanning all of the items and whatnot. And when she goes to scan this can of orange juice, the Karen must have had some really good vision or whatever the case may be her spidey senses must have ticked off in some way shape or form because she notices that a can of orange juice that she's so desperate to get is apparently not on sale which okay look it's a can of orange juice like it's not gonna cost that much regardless if it's on sale or not it's literally a can of orange juice Please chill. But anyways, the Karen using her spidey sense, or in this case, Karen sense, I think saying the word Karen sense makes it a lot funnier in my personal opinion, notices that the can of orange juice is not on sale. So she turns her head to the cashier and is like, um, excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, and by the way, for those of you that don't know, that's my Karen voice. I don't care if any of you say in the comments below that my voice is annoying. I personally don't care. I'm still gonna use the voice. And then the cashier was like, um, I'm just making sure that your stuff is getting scanned so that we can pay for it. I don't know what this Karen wanted this, you know, random employee to do. Like, he's literally doing his job. Let him go. And then the Karen was like, um, why are you scanning this can of orange juice full price? This is supposed to be on sale, so we should have less money. Why are you scanning it full price? And then the cashier was like, um, because that's the price of the can. It's not on sale. I don't know what your issue is. And then the Karen was like, um, no, that's impossible. I always get this can of orange juice on sale. I don't know what your deal is. I always get this can of on sale. I don't know why you're scanning it full price. You better scan that particular item again or else I'm gonna call your manager and get you fired. Rah, 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 rah. And then the cashier was like, look, um, I'm just scanning this can of orange juice. If it says on the screen right here the actual price, I'm not gonna question it. That's the actual price of the can. And then the can was like, oh my god, this is so ridiculous. It's just a can of orange juice. Why can't you just put it on sale? You're so rude and disrespectful. I don't know why you even have this job. Rah, rah, rah. And I'm just standing there behind her like, oh my god, God, ladies, just a can of orange juice. Calm down. So anyways, the Karen is screaming about this one can of orange juice, which, okay, listen, it's a can of orange juice. Plus on top of that, it's not like she only had this one can of orange juice. 
you know, that she's complaining about, which even then I will argue that it's just a can of orange juice. If you only have that one item, just pay full price for it. It's not that big of a deal. But no, she has this entire thing of groceries that she's supposed to be paying for. And because of that, one would assume, okay, if she has so much money to the point where she could buy so much stuff, like so many groceries in the store, then just pay that one thing of orange juice. You have the money for it, so just pay for it. And you want to know what this large figure lady does next? She points at me, like literally pointing her finger towards me, looking me dead in the eyes and says, what do you think of this? Don't you think that this cashier is being rude towards me? And so I'm standing there completely shocked because I didn't know that she was going to put me on blast like that. I'm just here to grab a few things and leave. I didn't want to be in this conversation or this situation in, in any way, shape, or form. So anyways, this random angry Karen is pointing at me for my input on, on all of this, even though it makes no sense for my input to be placed on this in any way, shape, or form. And so I say, um, it's a can of orange juice. I don't know what you want me to say to that. I mean, you have a giant pile of groceries that you're supposed to be paying for, so chances are you most likely have money to pay for this one can of orange juice. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, just pay for it. And you know, I'm saying this in the most nicest way possible, and you would think that I told this Karen that her family's dead and they're no longer going to see each other anymore because she gives me this face of just pure anger and disgust. So then the Karen says, oh my god, why are you all so stupid? It's just a can of orange juice? Um, I'll have you know that this can of orange juice is supposed to be on sale for those of you that don't know. I'm so surprised that this incompetent employee doesn't seem to realize that every single time I come to the store, this can is supposed to be on sale, so I don't understand why it's not on sale. All of you are such idiots, rah rah rah. And so I'm standing there like, lady, it's a can of orange juice. It's not like there's some baby on the side of the road that's about to get kidnapped or whatever the case may be for you to get upset. No, it's literally a can of orange juice. Like, if you're that pressed about the can of orange juice that you think is supposed to be on sale even though the cashier literally told you that it's not how about you do this thing called either buy it or don't buy it it's not rocket science so anyways i say karen because i literally call her a karen at that point um it's just a can of orange juice chill it's not gonna change anyone's lives if you get it or not like seriously chill it's just a can of orange juice and so now this lady is screaming at me literally screaming how i'm such a big idiot how i'm not gonna do anything with the rest of my life and how i'm extremely rude to her and then she turns her into the cashier is like i'm gonna get your job you know you're so rude and disrespectful how come for some reason you're not helping me this can is supposed to be on sale rah, rah, rah. and i'm standing there like oh my god God, she clearly cares about this orange juice so much to the point where she's trying to get someone fired because for some reason the can is, is not on sale. Don't you think that maybe there's a reason as to why the can is, is not on sale for this particular reason? Don't you think that you're getting a little bit worked up due to this orange juice? It's just a can of orange juice. Chill. And so she's screaming and then the cashier is like, okay, lady, it's just a can of orange juice like this guy just said. He's not doing anything wrong. It's just a can of orange juice. You don't need to scream. If you continue to scream like that, I'm afraid that we're gonna have to kick you out. And that just infuriates the Karen even more to the point where I didn't even think that this was going to, you know, escalate to this level of degree. So then the Karen then says to the cashier, oh my god, let me get your manager. I'm gonna get you fired. You're so rude and disrespectful. Rah, 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 rah. So then the cashier was like, okay, sure. I'll go get my manager. Like, he can deal with you and some way shape or form and so you know this cashier goes somewhere to see where the manager is and sure enough 15 minutes later the manager walks over to the Karen and is like hey ma'am I'm so sorry if you're experiencing any troubles how can I help you and then you know the Karen was like um this worker is so rude and disrespectful this can I usually get this can of orange juice on sale but for some reason it's not on sale you better fix this right now or else I'm gonna get your job and call corporate for you being a dumbass so then the manager says back to the Karen okay did our cashier tell you that this can is not for sale and so the Karen's like um yeah for some reason this idiot of an employee told me that this can of orange juice is not on sale even though I always get this on sale every single day blah 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 and then the manager is like well if it's not on sale today that means it's not on sale and the sale is over I don't know what you want us to do about it and so the Karen points at me for some reason and tells the manager um you need to get this customer banned from this store because he was harassing me and telling me that I'm such an idiot that doesn't belong in this store and so I finally chime in and I'm like whoa 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 okay um that's not what happened karen um all i said was that 
you should just buy the can of orange juice because it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm sorry, I had no idea that me telling someone basic knowledge meant that I was harassing them in some way, shape, or form. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. So then the Karen says back at me, um, no, you are definitely harassing me. You think that I have all this money to just throw away in some way, shape, or form on these useless groceries? No, I'm only doing this for my family because unlike you, I have a really good job, blah, blah, blah. And to be quite frank, I don't think you need all those groceries for your own body size. You probably shouldn't get those groceries. You should probably leave right now so that we can actually exercise and be a normal human being instead of wasting all your money getting groceries for the body shape that you are, honey. Now look. Could I lose weight? Could I go to a gym? Absolutely. I will agree with you on that 100%. But to be honest, I don't think that someone who's telling me that I'm basically fat, who's incapable of doing anything, should be talking when they look like a goddamn whale lord from fucking Pokemon, right? And that's exactly what I say. I'm like, um, Karen, I don't know about you, but I don't think you should be talking about my weight when last time I checked, you look like a goddamn whale lord from Pokemon who for some reason grew legs and is capable of walking into a store being a fucking idiot. So how about you shut the fuck up, get that can of orange juice that you're so upset about, leave and never talk to us ever again because you're such an idiot. Now look, was that petty on my part for me to say? Absolutely, I have no issues denying that. But the moment you try to get me banned from a store from giving you basic knowledge that maybe you shouldn't complain about a fucking can of orange juice, I think I have the right to make fun of you at least a tiny bit, right? So anyways, the moment I say that, this Karen looks really pissed off after what I just said, right? And you wanna know what this lady tries to do, right? She had this little um, handbag, which to be honest, I don't know how she was able to fit with her fat ass arm. She decides to take off her handbag and tries to hit me with it. Like straight up hit me in the face with her handbag, right? And you know, me being the goddamn genius I was, I dodge all those things like I was in a fucking John Wick movie, you know, doing the fucking Matrix and all that shit, right? I'm just dodging and weaving all these goddamn handbags and whatnot. And then randomly out of nowhere, the manager is like, okay, I'm gonna call the cops right now if you don't stop Karen. And the Karen is like, um, seriously, are you trying to kick me out for him being an idiot and basically call me a fat ass and so i was like karen not only did you basically call me fat but now you're trying to assault me what did you think was going to happen and the karen got even more pissed off and started trying to hit me with her handbag again and so the manager is like that's it and he grabs his phone he calls the cops Five minutes later, I don't know how the cops got there really fast. I'm assuming that they were, you know, patrolling the neighborhood because they got there real quick, right? And so they walk into the store. They ask pretty much everyone what's going on. I give my side of the story. The Karen is giving her own messed up side of the story. The manager gives his side of the story. And sure enough, the Karen pretty much gets arrested from these police officers, right? She's getting dragged out. But as she's getting dragged out, she's saying, oh my God, this store is so stupid. There are so many stupid employees. I'm never coming back here again. And so the manager and and the employee, you know, say, okay, bye, you're banned from this store, leave. And so she leaves, right, in a goddamn uh, cop car, right? She drives off and leaves in, in fucking handcuffs, right? And so I'm standing there like, holy shit, she got pissed off over a can of orange juice? What? And so, you know, the manager and the, and the employee walks up to me and they're just apologizing for, you know, the entire experience. And I was like, you know what? That's completely fine. You know, I'm not upset with you guys in any way, shape or form. Uh, so anyways, I pay for my stuff and I leave home and I didn't tell my parents about it because like, yeah, it was crazy, but I didn't think that I needed to tell anyone about it because it wasn't that crazy. And yeah, last time I checked, I never saw her pretty much ever again. I mean, it's been a week or so, so maybe I'll see her again at some point. But let's be honest, I don't think she's welcome at that particular store anymore. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story about how a wild Karen got so pissed off due to fucking orange juice to the point where she tried to pretty much assault me for no reason whatsoever and got arrested for it. So yeah, that's pretty wild, I guess. Um, moral of the story, don't fight people in the store because for some reason cans of orange juice are not on sale. I don't fucking know. Like, I really don't. Like, there was no reason for her to act like that over goddamn orange juice. Don't fight anyone in a store, especially, you know, a fucking employee because, you know, they already have stuff that they have to deal with. It's just a young employee just doing his job. Just don't harass people, right, in any way, shape, or form. I don't think a lot of people seem to get the mindset that cashiers are people too and they probably should be treated better but hey that's just my opinion let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed today's wild story time i highly recommend liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more of my dumb content and if you do and if you want please you know leave any comments below on what you 
on what you thought about this video. And if you're interested, you could tell your own stories in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video about it. And until next time, this is Jojo Kaiser signing out. Make sure you stay sexy and wear a condom. A oh, peace.